Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to implement a spelling correction app in C Sharp. So for this, we are going to use this Sims Spell library. All right, so this is the Git page of that. Uh, so I'm just going uh, like to explain this one only. So for this, if you want to implement in your project, you just need to you know add three files as the the same which is explained over here. Let me scroll to the right place. Yeah. So they are saying like there are three ways you can add this library into uh, your project one is using NuGet, another is like if you use a .NET Core then you can add it, otherwise the third one is like you know just add these files like simspell.cs, added distance and then these two uh, text file. I'm just going to use the NuGet one, so let me go there. Alright, so as you can see I have already added this NuGet package which you can see over here. It's over here. Once you add these two files will be automatically added to your project and what happened these these files are nothing but you know it's just like a dictionary which is holding all the words all the possible what i would say and this library is uh, you know majorly covering three examples one is like uh, if you are having a wrong word or a, there is a spelling mistake over there it will give you some suggestion and based on that you can select the the whatever is appropriate to, according to you and the second example is talk about like when you have let's say a lot of words are there in a sentence sometimes what happened the words you used to get mixed with the other word like you by while doing a like let's say when we are talking to somebody uh, like over a chat or something right there is a possibility we forgot or to put a right space at a right position right so this library will be able to put the right space and it will be able to separate the words accordingly the third example is like let's say you have a word or sorry if you have a, a big weak string where the space is completely gone because of some reason so using this library and there is a method called you know uh, string sub segment if you see the word segmentation yeah so what will happen it will put the right you know space at the right position so i'll just explain you this what i'm talking about it let me run this solution over here Okay, so the first example I already told you that the method is not like let's say you have a some wrong spelling, let's say H A P Y. Now it's giving you close to six suggestions like um, like happy and other possible words are there, which can be a correct word for this the wrong spelling one. Let's say if I give a wrong one, let's say H E L L. Sorry, I would say H. Hello. So we know like the possible words are like like for hello, holly, hello, rollo, something like that. <coughs> All right. So there is one more thing I was talking about. It. Let's say, for example, if you have, let's say, some word like this. If I type over here, it's not giving any suggestion, right? Because I have selected something called add uh, distances to. What does it mean? It means like this library is going to you know, change only at a two 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 places. I mean, two characters. If the added distance is set to two, that means so whatever word I have given right now by just changing two characters there is no possible word in their dictionary all right so let's change the dic uh, added distance to three this time let's see if it's uh, this library able to find some meaningful word over there all right so i'll just type the same word over here let's see and this time it's you can see it has started giving some suggestion and the first suggestion is like i according to me this is like a correct one relative you can see there are three words after, if i change uh, if i change something three times in this word i will be able to get at least relative so let's say l got replaced into r that is first one then p is removed that is second change and the last one e is got added so that is the third change and then similarly we got other words also I hope it's clear to you all right so let's move on to the second example the second one is like to, as i told you like whenever like, like there is a big sentence and sometimes you know some word used to mix with other word or i would say the nearest word let me give i'll just take their website uh, example itself so for example one second yeah this is the one if i type this you can see there are a lot of words like there are two words the d and the love is mixed and then for much is mixed the past is mixed so that means this library will be able to you know split these words accordingly you can see the where is the love he had it dated for much for the past and it's properly doing that separation i hope it's clear to you all right now let's move on to the third example which i was saying like let's say you have a big sentence where you know there is a, there is a completely like a space is gone because of some reason so if i take that same website link let's uh, i'm an example 
if they are also explaining let's say this one see they are able to put their space in the right position like the, the cute brown for the chums over the lazy dog if I type something even if I take the same uh, sentence which I put over here mix but the only catch is it should have it should not have any space otherwise it's not going to put I'm not uh, going to give the right result because the word segmentation will work only when there is no space in the word let's say if I give let's say this is the book see it's giving like the space should not be there but if I remove the space I simply say remove the so you can see this is the book it's able to you know put the space in the right position i hope this example is clear to you that's all about this video thank you very much